Hi, John here. It's Wednesday today and I spent 3 hours 15 minutes in the gym today so I'm pleased with it. I'm making a, a, a big improvement there. So I just want to read you these things quickly and make it short. Uh, on Wednesday, 23rd of August, uh, I weighed in about 89.4 kgs. It's gone a bit heavier. This is for uh, people, heart patients who are uh, rehabilitating back into uh, into life again after being through an operation or such things like how I went through. So I'm making <coughs> myself uh, better. Uh, myself. Uh, so here goes. On the first, I did 12 machines today in 3 hours 15 minutes. So that's a lot of work. But I just like to I find it quicker to just do a video just to do my results. Oh, oh, Willie Paper. Hang on. Hello, Willie. Hello, Willie. Yeah, sure. Alright, very good. I'm in good health. I've been look, I've been looking after my health um, uh, more so in the, in the last few weeks. Uh, so, so we're looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. What would you like to know? Uh, you've been getting email from the uh, uh, Well, I would be. I will be. I've, I've sent the first one to him today. Uh, uh, of the latest of what I've been sending to Bundy and uh, and uh, Manahi. So I've been I've been focusing on on uh, Auckland Hui. Uh, after that one up there, I'm going back up again. Um, as far as uh, put a hose, I'm, I'm going along with everything that's happened up there. Okay. So um, he's put on a hui in uh, uh, organising hui in on the 11th of September. Uh, but to the 10th, see, the 10th and 11th. 10th and 11th. Oh, okay, that'll be good. So I'll be coming up uh, with everything, so we can talk and and uh, bring things up to speed with what uh, I want to um, share. Um, with where the Whakaminia is, I've got most of the stuff here that um, can uh, speed things along there. <clears throat> in the meantime, I'm focusing in Auckland on the, the court hearing that we're going to have um, at the end of the month, on the 29th and 30th of uh, September. Uh, so that'll... Hey, where? Eh? Where? In Auckland and... Uh, um, Te Hunga Waka Marae in Epsom. So I've got, to put, I've got a, 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 a agenda I sent to uh, uh, Te Porohau. So all... No, he's going to on the, on the, uh, on the hui on the 11th, 10th and 11th. But how much is it costing you in the Marae? Uh, over here. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm, I just have to get the numbers. Uh, I, 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 I can't see it being too much because it's a, a Catholic church marae that I've always had my hui there. It used to cost me nothing. So um, 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 it, it will be just overnight. And the agenda, uh, Te poroho has got the agenda, so he can email it to you and to all the others. And that's going to tie in with the Whakaminia. This is with the Whakaminia and the flag at the same time for that land block in Cook Street. <clears throat> so that'll kick everything off financially, and I'm doing all that here uh, to tie in with uh, uh, all the land issues will be handled from this country with the Whakaminia. Not not me, uh, but I put the British stuff together with the flag. I've, I've opened up the other end in Britain, in the magistrate court there from the magistrate court we set up at uh, Titi Marae, Waitangi Marae, and up at... Uh, um, that, that, so that's the native court side that I'll be discussing up there, how that works in with the financials. I'm putting the budgets together for the Whakaminia to fund the whole thing. I've been working on that for, for, for a fair long period of time. That's when I get Cook Street, it converts back to cash and then I split it off. <clears throat> so that's, um, that's coming from Britain on that end of that flag. Yeah, 
the flag, I'm making the flag work, let's put it that way, I'm making the flag work, but it needed the Whakaminga on its authority, right? <coughs> what, 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 what I can see now is Te Poroho uh, will be the organiser of that lot. Not me, not me, I'm just the advisor on what to do legally and to keep the flags uh, of, of authority to Britain. You see what's happening now is John Key has come to New Zealand, he's, he's, he's an Australian now, he works uh, on an airline there, near New Zealand there, but he came over to get his investiture and, and knighted with Bill English uh, and Patsy Reddy, the Governor General in Auckland, in conflict of that eight point star on our flag. You see, they're, they're mischievous to flout that eight point star. On, on our flag. So that, that, that's what I'm going to be discussing up there because it looks like the, the, the Iwi Maori authority is going to take that flag over and, and what, what I've been setting up, they've grabbed it. Because no, yeah. That's just the commercial side is in Auckland, uh, Willie. All the commercial things for the Whakaminia is in Auckland because the business of the Crown is in Auckland and all the other stuff for the land issues are up there it, it, for the for the hapu and the whole country so that's what i'm um, i've told to put he's he's got it now he knows where i'm coming from with the komatua tomata komatua that it works out that way that's the tail wagging the head on this end and the tail down up that end that makes things go and it's not it's, 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 it's simple enough to understand when the two bits, the, the spiritual part up there, the physical part, and the commercial part down here goes together. Uh, well, we see it, it seems work. Well. Yeah, we, we launched our vehicle uh, last weekend. Yeah, I, I, yeah, he told me about it, and um, uh, uh, Bundy told me about it as well, and I'm pleased with that, it's, that it's worked out. Um, and I didn't come up because I told Te Porto, I'm, I'm getting all the court hearing for Cook Street and all the rest of the country here in Auckland for that week. We're, we're getting the land back this way in Auckland uh, through the Crown here. Their business is in Auckland, not up at, uh, at Waitangi. Uh, but the, 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 main land, um, the main land control is up that end. The business is down this end with the money. I'm, I'm going in. With, uh, with 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 that side of the legal side, <coughs> and you'll see the budget will come out of it, and um, uh, I'll have the figures on what 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 comes out of it from all the court all all, all the complaints will go into the Whakaminia and then I'll handle the bank on this thing in Auckland to recover to recover the money legal legal side of it, money and and uh, and uh, Bundy is on the legal side with me straight to Britain. <coughs> and it's going to work out that way, um, Willie. Nothing's going to change other than the, the government has to stop and listen to the, the, the Paramount Chiefs. Uh, that's the part that's been missing in the flag, the Paramount Chiefs. That, that works the, the commercial side here in Auckland. The Araki's up that end. And the, the, the native landowners are up that end. The commercial landowners are down this end. So to get, to get financial, we're just going straight into the land. And who's, John Key's the first one with the Panama Papers that's going into court. Yeah, that's well known. I've, I've had enough things going on online warning them that they'll be charged uh, from... Uh, from the Paramount Chief, they'll, 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 they'll recognise an authority on, on that side of the ledger, uh, apart from the other side, the, the, uh, the Arikis and their, their land. <coughs> so you'll be handling the, the land issues up there. I'll, I've got all the documents here to bring up and, and gradually to go through them. But to start the process of it, we're all going together in this. I could not do it by myself without the Whakamini and everything else and the flag and the British to get, to get financial 
um, um, uh, redress this way. They, 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 the government can't really interfere um, because we are now taking the flag as a contract straight to Britain uh, between those two power mount, three power mounties, that's uh, the Hillewinnies, one, two. That's, that's, that's three of them, Manu, uh, Hillewinnie and, uh, and uh, Bundy. They're the main, uh, main part of the commercial uh, land ownership here in Auckland as, as, as apart from the hapu, um, uh, the way they do business. So it's going to work out perfect, um, will it? There'll be no, no surprises. It, it was always going to be there and I think Poroho has got a good understanding of it now, although there's still a bit more he, he, he wants to know how, how everything um, is going to come together. We, once I get Cook Street, we're financial straight off to, to kick the whole thing off. The fucker meaning will be we funded be funded from here in Auckland <coughs> in this organisation with Bundy and, and uh, Manahi, myself, and the British other other ones on the other end waiting. Uh, we'll see you at uh, on the tent tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there. I'll be armed with everything so I can explain how it's going to work financially. From, from the land itself. Okay, Willie, thanks, uh, mate. Good to talk to you again. Bye. Oh, that was a stroke of luck. With uh, Willie Pater. Uh, he's from up, uh, Waipuna Marae in uh, um, Hokianga. I've been on the Marae a couple of times or so. And um, he was one of the uh, chiefs that came into Waitangi Marae uh, with uh, Hoepa Epiha <coughs> and uh, Kingi Kaurua. That's where we opened up the Waitangi Marae on the treaty grounds as a native magistrate court. The grand jury native magistrate court. And so we transferred that title into the Titi Marae Native Magistrate Jury Trial Court. It's the Grand Jury Court. We transferred it from Okiato Native Magistrate Court in Kororareko, Russell. <coughs> that was on the 10th of March uh, um, 2016. That's when we put the flag upside down on top of uh, Mikey Hill. Mikey Hill in, uh, on, uh, on the hill above uh, Russell, Bay of Islands. And then we transferred that into Waitangi Marae. And they couldn't stop me going in there for reasons of it's my carvings that are in there, my own tupuna, Wetaha, from Whakawhitira. Native Magistrate Court in Tikitiki Ruatoria, Hikarangi, Mount Hikarangi. That's my Rahui Marae in Tikitiki. And that's where the St. Mary's Church Register of Birth, Death and Marriages was the first title instruments of those Admiralty Magistrate Courts to use as legal instruments in banks as security over the land, the native land. That's the first title here. I'm saying on this video as a statement. Fact. Citation. Evidence. That that's the first native title in the will president case in dignity on my land blocks and my carvings in Waitangi Marae. Not Iwi Māori has nothing to do with it. That Marae belongs to me. That's what Kingi said. Chief Kingi Taurua said, that's my Marae, my carvings inside there. And that's true. That's true. <clears throat> he can have the land and the Paramount Chiefs and the Tamata Komatua, that's Willie. Peter, he turned up there, 
this man just, just spoke to me on the phone, has got a just right to be in that magistrate court. Legacy. In and on the record in this country. We fixed it. We fixed it on documents that we signed at the team Marae for that event. An authority. That's an authority of that ship of Admiralty with this eight point star flag on it. And John Key has the audacity, the cheek and the audacity to wear the eight point star, the same as the Queen got the audacity to wear a Dutchman's creation, King William III, and the St. Patrick's Church Order, eight point star, down Patrick, Belfast. <coughs> burial, memorial of St. Patrick, that's my family, comes from there. The Rogan judges in this country and the Cosgroves lawyers. That's why I'm acting like this with their brain in my head. And a fair measure of native surname titles with Tahiti and Rapa Nui to Mokonui in Tiki Tiki, Waiapu, and Matakawa County districts of the Auckland province stretched right down from Aurora Native Magistrate Court to Whakawhitila Native Magistrate Court on our land blocks at the east coast below Mount Hikare. Right? So that's Uataha the main chief of Portikiru or King Waiapu, boundary area of Tikiti, Rangitoki, <coughs> uh, Marangaro land blocks, Marangaro Marai, in uh, Whakangian, that's my, my own Marai family, homestead there, to my uncles, homesteads in Tikitiki, -tiki, Te Guano, Kaio Guano, <coughs> and <coughs> The other Wanoas around that area, Ted Wano, uh, um, brothers to my father of that Rahui Marae and that St. Mary's Church partnership, ship of Admiralty, Captain James Reddy Clendon. Captain James Reddy Clendon put that together with <coughs> Refera for Manukau. Ancestor of Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, Scotland, to Westminster Magistrate Court, Westminster City, Paddington, UK, Britain, England. That's our title, with the Moai statue, the real statue, standing in London, the first one was pinched by the Queen Victoria in 1868 and stuck that, my other title, stuck that and hid it away for a hundred years and pulled it out and put it in the museum in the Queen Elizabeth II Great Court. That's my title. And that Marae over here with the ship outside on the ground, this flag was given on dry land, not in the sea, with the Union Jack. 200 miles out in the sea. That's where that belongs. So you see, we have a dry land plan of Admiralty, court martial law to hang anybody, tampering with our titles. That's what this court hearing in Auckland's for. That was Willie's passion about <coughs> land that he's seen taken. Land stolen, land returned. This is the way to get it back. Willie? watch this video, <coughs> and Bundy, and Manahi, and Te Poroho, Ruka, watch this video because I'm making statements from now on, or always, that what I say is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. The deeds of truth is the Moai crown, King William IV Trust. That's the financial arm here in Auckland, private company, nobody's business. This is a private company flag of jurisdiction of Admiralty Magistrate, the man, Magistrate.
Cool. Well, there's three of us, four of us, that are magistrate courts in person. That's myself, from Wano to Wano to Wano to Wano to Wano to Wano, all the way back to Rapa Nui from Mokanoi, Sunang. That's a paramount. It goes generations back on the same surname of native origin. Now that's Tahiti. That came later. The first ones here was the Moriori's. Their island is Reku or Chatham Islands. That's their country. These Moriori's, the real surnames, not the Solomons. The real surnames are Manukau, Mohini, Parapara. That's three. I can name those three and talk through those three straight as they were there before any British or European surnames or any other Spanish surnames that dropped on those islands. The title is in this flag with us. The Admiralty of the Cook Islands and Rekun is locked in this flag with Captain Cook. 1769 was recognised by King William IV in 1833. Prior to that, 1831, <coughs> the church, St. Mary's Church, was established as the first point of court of the Admiralty, James Ray Clinton, and the birth certificates that were set up as instruments to King William IV. Prior to that was 1820 to 1830, King George IV, the brother of King George, brother of King William IV, <coughs> and the brother of King Ernest Augustus I, the three brothers, and their father, King George III, was that bloodline. That's the bloodline that's in this flag to us as two party contract. Two party contract, not a third party anywhere. The Queen and all the Rothschilds and everybody else is third party on this court here in Auckland. The New Zealand government, the Commonwealth government, the Federal State Government of America, United States of America, United Nations, the EU Parliament, <coughs> uh, uh, NATO, um, IMF, and Israel, City of London, private company, Vatican City, private company, Washington DC, private company, Queen Elizabeth II, private company, Bank of England, private company. Those are all third parties in a two-party King Paramount Chief contract. Nobody's business. How I write what I say and what these Paramounts do, what they say goes. When we put documents together and stamp it with these new stamps, we've got the new stamp here, of <coughs> King William IV and Te Rawaikato for a Here Here Manukau, the Moriori chief of 1820 and 1830, and Ongiheka, 1820 1830, Dangapui, Cook Island chief, Tahiti, and Te for a Here Here Manukau, the Moriori. Those two are on here as the commercial landowners of this country with this stamp and there's no one can jump above this flag. Those four eight point star that the Queen and John Key is wearing and the Governor General and everybody's wearing is a violation of our contract, the two party contract. You're going to get the bill. I've already warned you we're going to bill you and all the people on this land to pay up all the fraud that's happened with the Panama Papers, John Key has committed crimes of church and state and the corporations, private companies, for their own financial investment interests and as a threat. This is a war flag, war flag, a state of emergency. We're having a state of emergency meeting, uh, uh, a court hearing against him and the Governor General, Patsy Reddy and Bill English, Prime Minister, for knighting 
John Key with our eight points down this flag. It's none of your business. This flag is not your flag. All the iwis, the Maori iwi, it's not your flag. It's the paramount chief of Ngāpui and Cook Islands. Taisen. And <coughs> this stamp on any document is legal authority straight into Westminster government. And the British Royal Navy, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, that's our partner. He's our partner. The magistrate in the court, in Westminster Magistrate Court, and Edinburgh Magistrate Court, under the judicial system of the Chief Justice. We are the Chief Justice of Native Magistrate Court jurisdiction of this flag. It is our flag. It is no one else's flag. And this government here cannot use it. If they've been using this flag, that's the bill. One billion trillion trillion, one billion trillion pound note on New Zealand at this stage. That's just one bill out of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note against those people I just named as corporate entities and corporate surnames and natural names that are running their businesses. You get the bill. You get the bill as 30% of the population of the world and 70% of that is the creditors of the King's Bench Court and this flag and this stamp on documents versus the 30% of the royal families and the Queen's monarch and all her corporations is 30% of the population of the world and 30% of the populations of each of 250 countries gets the bill. So you're on one side or the other. You're on the Queen's side or you're on the Queen, the King's side with his flag. With his flag and his staff. You get that? That's what I'm telling you on this video. People watching around the world, take notice. I'm making statements in the raw flesh and blood. It's for anyone to deny what I'm saying or rebut what I'm saying <coughs> or refute what I'm saying on this video with a counter video. Claim that I'm wrong or that you can't say anything or defend yourself from my accusations against you, Jonky. I've got a Facebook site with your name in the box. And Sean Elias, crooked Sean Elias, and John Key for opening up Parliament when I warned you not to open it because he had no seal of the Queen and no seal of the Westminster government. No authority at all. And I won my case against the CRB police on Cook Street. We're going to seize that land on this paramount chief's commercial landowner's authority and this set. Okay, that's it. They've just got behind me now and I'm going up on the 10th and the 11th to have a celebration of this stamp or their documents to legalise this flag with them again and again. We already legalised it in the Waitangi Marae on video, YouTube, as citation, evidence, facts. And in Titi Marae, 21 Gun Salute, on the 6th of February 2017, this year, those documents get stamped now with this authority on the 10th and 11th day up there on Titi Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. That's legal. Boom! On this stamp goes <coughs> over their commercial lands in this country. Now, each individual in this country is liable, as the Pope Francis said, he's destroying all his laws, his admiralty, not ours, his admiralty, his courier law, his canon law, his civil law, and his UCC law. He's destroyed them, and you're caught with them. I warned you. That's why he can't do anything. That's why he's lost the case because the judge said in my case for arresting me unlawfully as a surrogate king with all this going on and the paramount is getting behind what I'm saying, authenticating what I'm saying, I'm authenticating what they say with this. 
<coughs> you get these on your head, they're done for by the British because this is British. This is British, this flag. And we are the contract with the British. Right through the world. Okay, you got that? That's, that's really what I wanted to say, but I started off doing my um, exercise today in the, in the gym, but anyway, I'm just changing this into this. I can cut that out and keep this as being official, what I say officially. I don't care what I'm dressed up as, but that'll change. I'll go into professional looks one day soon with that. Okay, we're running the Moai Powerhouse Bank with 970 million trillion trillion in credit against the pirate debtors. This is a pirate flag. It was given to us for pirates to keep them away from our business between here and Britain and the King of England. King of Britain, UK. King William IV and his descendants, his direct bloodline descendants is King Ernest Augustus V, the King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth, as far as we're concerned. We've already nominated him to be the King in Westminster. Prince William cannot be the King of Britain, UK. He cannot when there's a King already there. The King, I'm making this statement, that we're putting King Ernest Augustus on the throne because the Queen has abandoned ship of admiralty of the king and gone into the EU Parliament as a threat against our financial investment interest between us and the Royal British Navy, First Lord of the Sea, <coughs> Sir Philip Jones. Okay, you got that? The documents get stamped and goes to him. We have our court hearing in Auckland and John Key, you've got to turn up, I'm going to give you a notice. I'm giving you, you a three-week notice that'll come out and you must attend that court hearing in Auckland on Friday the 29th of September 2017 at 2 o'clock, between 2 and 4 o'clock. You, Patsy Reddy, Governor General, Prime Minister Bill English, the owners of Cook Street, Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown and Chiabi, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, you're on the stand, and Tim Duffy, Chiabi, for tampering with my contract with those landowners on Cook Street and their bankers, the West Bank Bank, and all those lawyers involved and the judges who corrupted my title with the Manukau Moriori titles of that land block. That's what Mohi left me to get his land back. That's his land. You haven't put it on your documents. And we've exhausted every avenue of law to have the Manukau name put back on your titles, the Lynn's titles, and you refused twice. You rejected my application to put his name on the title and yet we have the titles to the land and you can't prove it. I'm saying I have all the titles here for this country and for Auckland province with Te Rawaikato, Wharehere, Manukau in Edinburgh, Edinburgh and Prince Philip commanding chief resigned. I'll be Curious to see who's going to replace him because he's got one of these stamps coming to you. You're all liable because John Key libeled you, Helen Clark libeled you as well for the four shorts he bet. I know all that stuff. The Panama Papers, John Key, and you libeled the United Nations, you libeled the United States, you libeled everybody. And now you're in Australia, you've libeled Australia by coming here as an alien with a dual citizenship to Australia. Now that's in a farce. I put it on my side. Australia, Commonwealth Government, is a farce because they're swearing their oath to the Queen that's not there. 
she's not there. She's in the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest against the British government establishment and us, the partner. partner. The legal partnership, commercial land owner, Paramount Chiefs and King, on an equal basis part in business and inheritance to all his inheritance, right through that well with his stamp and the Maui stamp. Okay, so that's really what I, I wanted to say before this video runs out, is that I'm putting you on notice, John Key and Patsy Reddy, Governor General of New Zealand, John Key, ex Prime Minister of New Zealand, that set up <coughs> the football team flag, fern flag, to try and take out the Union Jack flag and our flag, take it out and put your flag there for your own private business with your corporation and TPPA, you've got to get the bill too. And all of that commerce will be taking it over. <coughs> Not with a view of sacking the government here, but close to it. We have the authority to sack them anyway. That's why I'm going to England to sack the Queen because she's not a contractor. We are the contractors. We are the contractors, the natives contractors to the King of England and the King of Britain, UK. <coughs> Doesn't matter. That's that's been fixed in the statute law. And we are the law. We are the crown. So that's all I wanted to say really um, to uh, Willie and to Porto um, good on you for making things happen. You, you've got to make it happen this time. There's no, no way out. This is the only way, the truth and the life, to this country to get it back in its ownership, security and safety because it's been plummeted, plundered and screwed over and over. And we're going to recover all those debts against every single business here who's going to pay up. You're going to choose the Queen or the King. You're going to jump on this side or stay on that side, one or the other, because the British are watching, watching your mischievous people. Running a government that's got no security of its own, no titles of its own, just whim. It's got no seal of Westminster, no seal of the Queen. No head of state. I'm saying these things because I know how it works. I know all the politics and how it works in Wellington. I've already got our own Commonwealth Government. Moai Crown, King William for Commonwealth Government of the World. I've already got it online on our website, moaipowerhouse.com. It's there. The whole business of running the whole federal state in Auckland, that's what we're going to do, that's what this meeting's for. We're seizing Cook Street this time. Those landowners and their lawyers and their bankers are fraudulent. They are fraudulent and they have broken their own 1961 and 1951 Crimes Act of New Zealand. They've broken it many times over. They're not going to get away with it because we won't stand for it. We are the commercial landowners, the legal commercial landowners, now that this flag is legal. It is legal and we're going to sew it up on the 10th and 11th because they're waiting for me to teach them how all of this works. It's all in my head from Mohi Manaka and those old chiefs that have died. They've died and left it behind with me to fix the whole lot as a mechanic. Right? Machi Tarawa, he had his, all his documents I've got, Delwi Humi and Richard Kake. Um, Mohi Manakao, uh, Hare Utu Tonga. <coughs> That's just some of them. There are others that I have their documents. And I've kept them for their own sake and their own families because their families didn't want to know anything about it. That's why Mohi Manakao wouldn't let their family know because they ignored them. They ignored them. I, I, I stuck with them. I stuck with them all the way. And that's why I know so much. I know so much because they gave it to me and trust me. So trust me people in the world, 70% of you in the world have a claim to this land and what I'm going to recover for you in my time. And these paramount chiefs over here, the natives around the world, you've been affected by this land because the pirates 
are the Crown Corporations, Rothschild Banks, and the United States of America, and US Federal State Government, NATO, the United Nations, are using this flag and usurping it, usurping it and abusing it, its power, its admiralty, court martial law power. They have abused it and they have taken over all the common laws of the king for themselves. So that's the end of that. We're going to exercise our prerogative power and authority and jurisdiction of the Admiralty Court Martial laws that can hang anybody with a flag. We have the right to use King George III's ex parliament as the father of King Ernest Augustus I and his brother King George IV and King William IV. Ernest Augustus I and <coughs> King George IV made a contract in Edinburgh Magistrate Court with Tira Waikato Whare Whare Here Here Maka to sell the lands of New Zealand Pacific Islands. And that's the title I'm holding on to. That Mohi Manaka was a descendant to Reva Reva Manaka who made the deal with uh, Captain James Reedy Clendon and Pomari, the second, to sell the lands that were already sold. They were already selling the lands here in 1820 to 1830 right through the Pacific Islands and the well under that native title, 1820, 1830. Paramount Chief, Tira Wakato, Whare Hele Hele Not Hongihika, he was only interested in the military side, so he had no part in the signing of the contracts um, between King George IV and Tira Waikato in Edinburgh, Manchester Court. <coughs> so, people, take notice. If your name's in a box on Facebook as being accused of fraud and corruption, you get the bill. 30% of you in New Zealand get the bill of 1 billion trillion. That's just the first payment, that's not the rest. There's more to go. On each person is a trillion pound on each individual. That means Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CRB Police, Auckland Central Police Station, liable the whole lot of the police force. And I'll say 15,000 police. She's liable the whole lot. When she arrested me with a king shirt on, and my shirt, she still got, they still got in the police station in Auckland. It's still there, the king shirt. I've got the other one here. I had to get another one made, and they inconvenienced me to go and get another one made. And they had no legal right to arrest me without discovery of who I am. They just, at the whim, came here and arrested me because the public made a complaint about Cook Street from their office. And all those people, 41 of them, that tampered with my contract, you get the bill to a trillion pounds on your head each. You'll lose everything. That's a too bad. That's how my wife was. It's the harshest law in the world. It's this, you're lucky if you don't get hung because this is a hanging loose flag of threats against our business between here and England. Nobody else between here and England with these paramount issues. They're woken up to it now. They're awake. They're awake. The tail is up the other end at the Hapua, at Spirits Bay. That's the tail of the fish, the New Zealand fish, and the head is over here in Auckland to the East Coast. That's the head. The eyes are down there. The pitot birth of this country is on my land block. Marangaro land block. Marangaro Marawai and Rahui Marawai. Rahui means ban everything. Ban everything. If there's a threat on this country, there is a threat. That's why I'm in this court hearing. Legal as a higher authority than the courts here. Where they got their jurisdiction and how they got on this land. They got on this land through the Magistrate Court, not the High Court, through the Magistrate Court of Britain. 
and these trees. These are the ancestors' descendants. Bundy White Eye, Cook Island, Tahitian, representing Napoli, and Manahi Parapara Mohini, representing the Moriori from Channel Islands. That's his country. Not those Solomons and all those Pakeha surnames. Not theirs. Even though they're married into the, the, the Moriori's. They stand for their own name in Moai Crown Law. Moai Crown King William IV Law is you stand in your own surname. You don't borrow surnames, not even in Maori here. They can't borrow surnames in this country. You're either British surname or native, straight native indigenous surname. This is what's happened with Maori. They jumped the gun. They jumped in front of the original. We're going to put the right names in front where the contract was made in the first place, how you got here, with this fact. Okay? No arguments. Don't argue because you've got a trillion pounds straight on your head if you argue with us, Vlad and this staff. Don't argue because the court hearings are swift. Inside two hours it's all over in London. The Royal Building, Admiralty Court, Chancery Court, it's all over in the High Court after the Magistrate Court puts the case straight from here on the 29th of September 2017 at Tungawaka uh, or Hawaii, that's what its name is, in Epsom, the corner of Clyde Street and Manukau Road, 200 yards up from Broadway and Great South Road intersection towards the airport, just up the road in the second lights. That's where the Marae is. It's the Catholic Church Marae, in neutral. And I've always had my hui's there, earmarked all the way through in my box of titles signed and notarized there, signed by the chiefs, and signed by the chiefs on Titi Marae, the same documents. Okay, they were countersigned on Waitangi Day, or the Declaration of Independence Day on the 28th of October, 2017 this year. We're having our celebrations but we'll have this stamp in our authority running business ahead of the corrupted fraud New Zealand government and their New, New Zealand wars day on the same day as our day that we celebrate this flag. This is not their flag. This is not the government of New Zealand's flag. This is the flag of New Zealand, the original flag of New Zealand and it still is the flag of New Zealand as far as we're concerned under the 1852 British UK Constitution Act. That's our authority, jurisdiction of Admiralty and that constitution and their flag. And a king and a Maui statue memorial titles to the whole world. Okay, you got that? That's us. That's who we are. Now you know. We're taking control of our own inheritance, partnership to Britain this time. Thank you very much. We'll see you later and have a nice evening. I'm just going to uh, make another video for this um, gym I went to today in Oru and I'm looking pretty well fit for the big journey. I'm well enough to do that job with the Baranachis and the Whakaminiya Hapu. Chiefs and their final hub. Thank you very much. Bye for now. See you later.